Rihanna did a collaboration with River Island, and I've wondered about the brand ever since. So today, I'm going to give these pieces a shot to see what they look like in real life. River Island is sort of like a Topshop or an ASOS, so the price point is a little higher, meaning I expect better quality, but we'll see. Up first, a nice coordinated set. I chose this one because I love the print, and I think that if you pair these two together and put a black tank top or a black short sleeve shirt underneath, you have an instant outfit. I mean, what is more chic than this? However, on the site, it's marketed as satin, but upon feeling it, I'm not too sure about that. I still don't exactly understand why there's a bit of a velvet trim here, but I will say that I like the entire look. Everything is so comfortable, guys. So this is also a look where if you are throwing a dinner party at your house and you're having friends over, but you don't exactly wanna put on a full look, just put on these pants and a tank top or wear the kimono and you can like tie it a little bit like this, boom, you're set. So this is a great outfit that you can put together in under $175. So if you're in a pinch and you need something that you can wear a bunch of places and then take it apart and mix and match, this is the look for you. This is a tiny romper. I don't know what I was thinking once again when I ordered this, but I was hoping that it would be a little longer. I have a feeling though, it's gonna stop right under my butt cheeks and then it's gonna be the same thing where I can't turn around and show you guys because my mom would be mad at that. So the things I do like about this romper though is the material is nice. It feels thick, it feels supportive, but all in all, it's a bit tiny in the legs. Maybe it'll read as longer on my body? I don't know. On the model, the romper legs look like they flow out a little bit, like they cut an A-line. But since I have slightly meatier thighs, it's a little tighter on me. But I don't really hate that. I like the way that it gives the illusion almost of a tuxedo dress, but it's really shorts underneath. It doesn't exactly pass the fingertips test, but it's not cutting right under my butt, so I can turn around for you guys. Now, what would an episode of online IRL be if I didn't try on a pair of jeans? Jeans are the foundation of any great wardrobe. Every woman needs a fantastic pair of black jeans in her closet. Now, these are considered more of a jugging type, which means that they stretch a lot. Oh my God, somebody make a super cut of me just yelling no pockets. Every time I do this, I choose a pair of jeans and there's a fake pocket in the front. Why? Can someone explain it to me? Surprise, surprise, I'm pretty into them, even though they don't have front pockets. Maybe if I paid $20 more, I would get some front pockets, but for under $100, they're not bad. I love where they hit right here under the belly button. As I've said in the past, you feel nice and sucked in. I have shorter legs, so I often have to deal with hemming or jeans are too long for me, but these seem to fit just right. Oftentimes when we talk about wardrobe staples, we tell you guys to get them in a neutral color, navy, white, black, but I think something like this could easily become a piece that you are often reaching for in your closet. It'll pair well with a lot of summer colors, but then also transition really well to fall and winter. Listen, this is going straight into my closet. I love this orange. I love the silky way it feels. This little draping right here is subtle, but also sexy. It's a hit. And paired with these jeans, I'm ready to go out. Who's coming with me? Another staple that every woman should have in her closet is a nice striped shirt. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it to the office, you can wear it anywhere, really. First of all, I love blue and white. I think it is so classic. But another great thing about this shirt is that it comes in yellow and white. So if that's the combination for you, now you have two options. Another great feature about this shirt is that it comes with a built-in sash. 
which means that if you tie it at your natural waistline, you'll be able to whittle it, giving you a nice little hourglass figure. Oftentimes when I get pieces on these websites, you know, I will look at them and I'll say the construction is great and the fabric is great, but the buttons are not so great. So my suggestion to you guys is replace the buttons and voila, a much more expensive looking outfit for a cheaper price. I'm not particularly wowed by this shirt, but I don't hate it either. I think it's one of those pieces that, you know, every woman should own. A striped shirt will never do you wrong. So you may not be able to tell from the image online, but the sleeve is a little voluminous. It's not a straight up and down sleeve, which is something to consider if you're not very into that style. Also, the way that it's styled online is pushed up over her elbow, but I found that a little hard to do with this shirt, so I just sort of pulled it up here and gave it a slight little scrunch, and that's that. I've recently become obsessed with silk skirts just because I think that they are an amazing sort of piece to have and wear towards the end of the summer. You can wear them with heels and add a t-shirt or sneakers on the weekend. They're super versatile and so I'm excited to give this one a try. What I think is really interesting about this skirt is the color combination. Would you have ever expected orange and purple to look so good together? Not me, but when I saw it on the website, I kind of fell in love. So let's see what it looks like on my bod. I often struggle with this. I have a smaller waist than I do hips, so whenever I get skirts, sometimes I have to size up or size down to, to find something that meets my needs in the middle. With this skirt, it is a little big in the waistline, but I would rather that because it fits pretty nicely along the lower thighs and in my hips. One thing I will say about this skirt is that the zipper is puckering a little bit, and I don't know if that's because it's with this specific skirt itself or with just the construction in general, but it's something to look out for and be cognizant of. Ask any fashion expert and she or he will tell you that leopard is not a print, it's a neutral. What that means is that you can wear leopard with anything. Take this dress for example. You could wear it on its own with a pair of white sneakers. When it gets colder, you could layer a black turtleneck underneath or a chunky sweater over it. So this is more than a dress. It's a skirt, it's a slip, it's super versatile and something I think every woman should own. So we'll see how it fits. So as you guys can see, I got into the dress, but it doesn't quite fit. I did order a 10 UK, which is a six in the States, so my normal size, but I think this dress is cut on the smaller side. If I were to do it again, I would order up one size, maybe two, and let it just sort of flow over my hips. So that's a pro tip for you guys out there who are a little hippier. Go up a size, go up two sizes. It's fine, don't worry about it. And if you're really bothered, cut the tag out. Now that we've gone through the whole rack, tell me what you think. Leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next week.